In this video, I'm going to go over uh, bronchial, bronco, vesticular, and vesticular lung sounds. And I'm only talking about the location. I'm not going to talk about how they sound or anything. If you want to hear how they sound, there are some great videos on YouTube already that can give you an idea of what you should listen for. But as far as location, whenever you hear bronchial lung sounds, or they were taking the bronchial, um, that means that the lung sounds were auscultated over where the trachea lies in the chest area, all right? So just down the middle through your sternum, right here, this is the area where those lung sounds were taken, all right? That's bronchial lung sounds. Uh, like I said, that's taken over the, over the trachea on the front of the body, on the anterior part. So anterior of the body means front of the body. Uh, lung sounds are auscultated uh, over anterior chest, so the front of the body, usually around this area, the middle part. And that's it, that's as simple as that. So bronchial lung sounds, just straight down the middle kind of, all right, in the chest. Your bronchovesticular, those lung sounds can be located on the front of the chest and the back of the chest. So the back of the chest is known as posterior, that means back, and anterior, which I'm pretty sure I did not write down here. But if you're taking the lung sounds on the front of the patient, meaning anterior of the patient, your lung sounds are gonna be found um, in your first and second intercostal muscles. All right, so that's where you want to uh, auscultate. Now, this means that you're gonna find the lung sounds between the first and second rib and or between the second and third rib. And the reason I put clavicle here where the first rib goes is because the clavicle usually goes, it overlaps over the first uh, rib. So whenever we count the ribs, we usually count the clavicle as the first rib because it lies over the first rib and then we count downward. All right, so like I said, if you're taking bronchovesticular lung sounds on the front of your patient, patient anterior, we're gonna auscultate for those in the first and second intercostal muscle being between the first, second, and third, third rib. That's it. Now, if we're taking the bronchovesticular lung sounds on the back of the body, so the posterior part, posterior meaning back of the patient's body, we're gonna auscultate between the scapulas. Okay, so for in layman's terms, in case you're not sure what the scapula is, it's the shoulder blade. So between the shoulder blades in this region, um, that is where we uh, hear for lung sounds whenever we're checking for bronchovesticular lung sounds. All right, that's just the location. So now we're moving to vesticular lung sounds. So vesticular lung sounds can be heard in the front and the back of the patient also. All right, so that means anterior and posterior. But what we're doing is we're taking the peripheral, so along this edge right here. So imagine your lungs, your lungs are laying here, your lungs are laying here. We're checking the peripheral of the lung lining, all right? So like the outside, towards the outside of the lung lining. Hopefully that kind of makes sense to you guys. So again, on the chest, if they're facing forward, put some nipples right here. This is not the chest of the patient. Before it was the back, these, these were scapula. These were the shoulder blades. Again, same location. Here's the sternum. On the side of the sternum, we just check down, 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 and we make like a little, um, a half U or half V, however you want to say it. Now, in some questions, especially for um, advanced EMTs or EMTs or even paramedics, actually, is e any EMS question. When you're taking the vesticular lung sounds, um, you will either, uh, the answer will be either the peripheral peripheral, and I might spell this wrong, so look me up, all right? Peripheral lung sounds, or checking in the mid axillary Larry, region. Now, why they say mid axillary region is because I'm assuming is because it just kind of falls in that little mid axillary region. And in case you're not sure, what the mid axillary region is, is um, pretty much you're drawing a straight line down the armpit from the side. So let's say that this right here is a chest. Right now we're looking at the, at the side of the patient. That's an arm. The arm is backwards. They have it kind of winged back. This is your chest, your stomach, and we're looking at, at the side of the patient, right? Well, if you were to draw a line down the middle of the armpit on the side, 
right here, this is mid axillary. So um, on the NRENT, you might see this as the answer because of the region. Mm, hopefully this kind of makes sense. Again, I just went over the location of are you auscultate anteriorly and posteriorly heard throughout peripheral of lungs fields. Like I said, so just a little U shape between the shoulder blades. If you're on the back, if you're on the front of the chest, chest just go down the side of the sternum and just keep going, going with the chest anatomy kind of. All right, that's it.